for Kwame Sebakai. Please give him a warm round of applause. Thank you very much, Linda. The same as invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, my assignment here tonight is very simple. I'll give you a little history about the two first commemorative gold coin. We'll do a presentation of that gold coin today, and I'll just give you a brief background of the coin. Before that, I'm sure on your tables you notice a bar of chocolate. That bar of chocolate is brought to you, kind courtesy Cocoa Processing Company in Ghana. Ghana makes some of the best chocolates in the world, and tonight, we have a picture of His Majesty who is 72 years old today and so that is his chocolate gift to everybody. So just pick one up and sample. Ladies and gentlemen, the 24 karat or two for commemorative gold coin was launched at the Menshia Palace in Kumasi on December 12, 2021. It was launched to celebrate His Royal Majesty of 2472 II as an extraordinary peace builder and development-oriented king. His Royal Majesty was also recognized for the installation of the latest of the World Peace Bells at the Menshia Palace in Kumase on April 26, 2019. The Peace Bell was unveiled at the Menshia Palace in honor of a great son of Ghana, His Excellency the late Kofi Annan, one-time UN Secretary General. The bell was erected at the Menshia Palace also in commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the reign of 2472, which was 26th of April, 2019. His Majesty has remained the first point of call in his country, Ghana, when it comes to issues of diplomacy, peace building, and conflict resolution. The Dagban crisis, and how after 16 years of mediation, he brought peace quickly comes to mind. And also several times in our country where we needed to have a calming, soothing hand, especially when it comes to the nature of our politics, Utumfo has remained the pillar of peace for us all. Furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, the Africa Premier Leadership Scheme, that is the Africa Premier Leadership Award Scheme, took into consideration the speech delivered by His Royal Majesty on the topic Partnership for Culture of Peace, mobilizing traditional leadership and communities for peace and security. This was during the 25th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration and a Culture on Peace at the United Nations General Assembly in September 2019. All of the above and more informed the birth of the Otum for commemorative gold coin, which we'll do a presentation of tonight. The face of the gold coin bears the image of the Asante Hene with various Edinkra symbols which symbolize peace, harmony, and reconciliation. The reverse bears an image of the golden stool, the very, very famous Sike Jakufi. The Bank of Ghana, the Central Bank of the Republic of Ghana, gave approval to the E on 3 Group, an investment and business solutions provider based in Accra, to mint the O2 for commemorative gold coin. E on 3 and Menshia Palace organized the launch of the O2 for commemorative gold coin in collaboration with key partners made up of KGL Group, Access Bank, Gold Coast Refinery, Precious Minerals Marketing Company, and Coronation Insurance Company. Several high profile personalities have been recipients, including the President of the Republic of Ghana. Nana Adudankwe Kufuado, his Vice President, Dr. Mahama Dubaumia, former Presidents John Ejekum Kufuo and John Damani Mahama, the Governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Ernest Addison, the Chief of the Defense Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, the Inspector General of Police of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. George Ekufudampare, and tonight, it is my pleasure to mention that we are given one of these coins, 24 karat gold, to the city of Memphis, and would like to invite Mr. Charles Ewing, who will do the receiving, but the presentation will be done 
by one of the foremost Ghanaians we've had ever. He serves as the chairman of the Council of State, the advisory body of the President of the Republic of Ghana. He is also a traditional ruler, the Jabenghene Nana Utu Sribo II. And tonight, he is part of the entourage of His Majesty the Asante Hene. Accompanying him will be the chairman, the executive chairman of KGL Group, Mr. Dade, Alex Dade, who is here tonight. The chief executive officer of the EO3 Group, Mr. Richard Uforiata. And then also the managing director of Glyco, Mr. Andrew Achamponche, would accompany driving in Nana Otto Sribo to do the presentation as Charles Ewin receives us on behalf of this city. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Shall we applaud them now?